What's going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing great on this faithful Sunday. Hope everybody's in good health and your spirits are high to the sky. All right, so I wanted to come on here real quick and talk about this situation that's going down with Ernest Lee Thomas. Now, I remember Ernest for playing the role Roger on What's Happening. I know that he's done a few TV shows and a few movies, but that's the most prominent role that sticks out in my mind when it comes to his acting career. Now, he recently sat down and did an interview with Hip Hop Uncensored. I want to shout out those two kings for allowing me to use the audio from the interview that they did with Ernest Lee Thomas. I appreciate that y'all and i encourage each and every one of you all to go and check out their platform subscribe to the channel right the brothers are not far off from a million subscribers let's do our due diligence and get those brothers to a million subscribers all right the platform is fire all right so during the interview he was asked about his relationship with martin because if you guys don't know that's what martin started at he started on the show what's happening now there was a what's happening and then they transitioned to what's happening now and so that's where martin got his start but now ernest is detailing the fact that everything isn't good in the hood when it comes to him and martin's relationship because martin changed once he reached stardom he started to act as if he was better than him and others as well you know i did a video yesterday about chris williams and he talked about how martin was treating his staff and how martin treated him now listen everybody everybody, everybody, everybody. everybody almost everybody has an issue with diddy so ernest wasn't even asked about diddy he took it upon himself to talk about how diddy is fake right and so he basically put diddy and martin on front street for being fake you know, and he talked about how other people from other cultures will help you more than your own culture will. So guys, I wanna play you all the audio, basically from the interview that he did with Hip Hop Uncensored News, Hip Hop News Uncensored, excuse me. And I'm gonna leave you with this interview and I want you guys to drop down in the comments and let me know what you think about this whole situation, all right? So sit tight. Listen to what Ernest has to say in regards to his issues with Martin and also the issues that he has with Diddy. All right. Hope you guys have a blessed Sunday. Stay up. Stay healthy. Peace. I'm going to ask you about uh, Martin Lawrence. Um, is it true that he got a start on your show? And yeah. what, do you, what do you think about Martin Lawrence? Yeah, Martin did. Uh, he got a little arrogant, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, that's a whole other thing. But uh uh, yeah, he did get a start on what's happening. Who knew, you know, um, uh, but, and I was, you know, I, I accepted him with open arms because, you know, the other cast members didn't want him on the show, you know, and it wasn't like he was, oh, he was just incredibly funny, you know, you know, now, of course, I love the Martin show, but he just did, it wasn't there. But I, I was there with him when he was turned down by the uh, comedy store three times. Yeah, but that was it. He got his start on there. Then he started act, having that little funky attitude. And, uh, uh, you know, and I just look, I look at him and I said, I look, sometimes I look at these brothers and say, boy, sit your ass down somewhere. All that money and all that. I'm connected to, I am a child of God. I am owned and operated by Jesus Christ. You can never upstage me. So he tried down somewhere. You know, acting new, acting new for what reason? Why are you going to act new on me? What did I do? You know, but it is what it is. Are you saying Martin tried to upstage you at some point? No, he just acted new once he got the success. You know, hmm. he just acted new. He told when Martin, because I went with him, like I said, when he was turned down on the show, uh, when he was turned down for the comedy store, and uh, and even fighting for him to stay on our show, because only Shirley and I wanted him on there, you know. Uh, and uh, so when he started, when he got was when he got Martin. He brought me by. He told Tashina, Tommy, Ford, and all of them, "Look, this is the man, man. He he oh he stood by me, earning everything I'm in." You're going to be in everything, Ernie. I, I'm going I'm to put you. And I, you know, and I don't, not that I, I thought he was going to really do I thought, well, he's going to at least be friendly, you know, at least, you know, uh, maybe something here and there. But uh, he, he just, he had, once the more the success came, you can't get a hold of him. 
you know. Uh, I just had I had one point some million. John Claude Lamar, uh, one of my uh, former protégés, who's an outstanding director. Uh, we have a have, we have a film. We have a uh, a western comedy and. Uh, and I figured, well, the, the guy said, all I need, or I need the millionaire, said, all I need is one star. I went, well, I know Martin, because he said anything he can do. And, and man, not only did he not talk, he could at least call me himself and said, no, you got the agent calling me, you know. And then we made the offer. We offered him $500,000 for 13 days. It ain't like you were, hitting the, you know, you were lighting up the box office, okay. Offered him five hundred thousand for thirteen days, a uh, piece of the back end, and a producer thing, and uh, never heard from the agent after that. Never heard from, him. and that's all of it. It was a lot of brothers we offered it to. And that's the thing. That crab in the barrel thing is there. Y'all need to stop that. It exists. You know, I've had more of the Latino brothers help helping me. A Latin brother who had a gave me uh, gave one of my pro proteges a distribution deal so we could get money to do a horror film he did more than he don't even know me but he just grew up on the show you know uh a lot of them, they perpetrate the p diddies and all that he they full of shit. it full of shit. all that yapping he was like oh man oh well, man whatever you need can you call him you know, it's not that you're trying to get money. Hey, man, you know, you can put the music in there. You could, put, you know, maybe put your name on it. Maybe that'll help us get the other name. Nothing. You can't even get a hold of them. So it's black just, just, just talking, just running their mouth for nothing. They're worse than the white person. They're so, worse than any any evil because they're good white people in the industry. But they're worse than any racist you know, who's trying to do a double deals or whatever. You know, like Mace was tell, told uh, P Diddy, y'all know that. Well, Mace said, Peter, you talk about why don't you ease up? Won't you let me off the plantation?